The show that we're currently working on is called Cold, um, and it's one that we've been working on together for a long time now. Mm -hmm. The story that we've come up with is the dark fairy tale. It deals with a couple who lose not one but two babies. The reason we decided we wanted to share this because we we experienced two um, losses in pregnancy. Suddenly, this kind of quite dreamy fairy tale concept had a had a kind of real life resonance. We did a couple of different research and development um, periods of work on it and were supported by Bristol Old Vic Ferment programme and then we were then supported by Fertility Fest. So the uh, women that ran that invited us to perform an extract of cold at the Barbican and then there was a really um, fascinating conversation ensued and many of the audience members wanted to stand up and share their experience both men and women and it really felt like it was lifting this sort of taboo subject of talking around the issues that people face with not only miscarriage but also with those sort of decisions around medical termination so you how many women did you speak to so 12 different women about their experiences hugely varied at different stages of pregnancy about what they'd they'd been through and so then Claire passed me the research and I pull out all of the most moving and most poignant and, mm -hmm. you know, most pertinent bits to the story that we're telling. The woman is expecting a child and they go to the hospital for an antenatal check and what happens then is that they're transported to this dark, mysterious forest. During the course of that experience, they lose not one but two babies. Because it's a very difficult subject, it's kind of couched in this fairy tale trope, which enables people to engage with it. So working with um, Janet Etuk and Jacob Meadows, we went into the rehearsal room, we read through the prose, and we started improvising. We improvised through all the material, and each time kind of um, shaping and finessing and honing. If you're going to take away the live element of mm. theatre, you have to work hard to replace that kind of crackle of energy that you get in the mm. theatre when it's been performed by actors. Mm. Put a lot of time and effort into thinking about how we could capture stuff on camera, which means that it, it, we can recreate some of that intensity mm. of the theatre yeah. in a film process. We've got a performance which is of the scale of the feelings that we have about the subject. Yeah. You know, and it's almost operatic spoke to the Courtyard Theatre in Hereford, who have come on board as partners and given us five weeks of space to make the work. Um, we applied to the Arts Council of Funding, where we've been fortunate enough to get given a grant. There are differences, I mean, I don't think on a theatre set you'd normally have real trees. We did want actual trees very much. Um, there's something about the nature of this story, about them being dwarfed by the experience. The cabin uh, mm. that they discover in the woods and take shelter in, two generous individuals donated some old sheds. So we knocked those apart mm. and then our production designer, Carl Davies, uh, mm. built a frame, slapped the sheds on the outside yeah. and then we took it from there. Yeah. We've had this incredible meshing of worlds, you know, of, of yeah. worlds where we've been doing practical theatre effects yeah. for the camera using the, you know, the best and latest camera technology. Half our team are theatre professionals, mm. half our team are film professionals. And, and, and they've worked brilliantly. Yeah. They've worked hand in hand and we've created something which is unlike anything that I've seen. I think what Open Sky and Turtle Key Arts have tried to do is push the boundaries to really create this new sort of theatrical and filmic way of working. I believe in making art that can make a difference. Knowing that there's other people going through something, seeing that on a film that you can relate to, realising that you weren't mad, that you didn't do anything wrong, that this was something that you went through and you needed that support to realise that you kind of weren't alone. I think will hopefully be something that this digital theatre production will do. Mm -hmm.